all New Mexico City's newspaper is causing some readers to cancel their subscriptions. So what is it about this that's causing such a stir? News 13's Emily Younger has both sides of the story. This Valentine's Day photo posted in the Clovis News Journal is causing a stir in the small conservative town. Diego Baca is shown on the left. Next to him, his boyfriend of two years. Thought nothing of it, and then we turned and we were on like the front page, so <laughs> that was a shock. But. A shock to Baca and to George Shuckman, a paper subscriber since 1971. He and at least six others have now canceled their memberships all over this picture. I objected to the uh, same-sex couple on the front page. The 70-year-old says Clovis is a God-fearing Bible Belt town, and the paper's out of line. It's a matter of morality. You know, there's people that, that don't even go to church that uh, uh, feel this is a, a, a bad moral uh, decision of the newspaper. In a letter to the editor, Shuckman says this is not responsible journalism and calls the men's relationship an empty lifestyle. Baca is brushing it all off. It's their life. They can think whatever they want to about it. Um, they really shouldn't be concerned about my my life. The paper standing behind him. It published this editorial saying, quote, inclusion is responsible journalism and that it needs to be acknowledged that, quote, gay people live here too. Emily Younger, KRQE News 13. We reached out to the Clovis News Journal directly. No one there got back to us. The editorial does point out that the reader reaction to the photo was, for the most part, overwhelmingly positive.